Hi guys, this is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabrics, and I just wanted to show you a few items that I got from the ongoing Hobby Lobby Clarence Yarn Haul. So first for the Hanks, I got this one. As you can see, it was three dollars twenty-four, no three seventy-four. Um, this is the one weight, I guess that's fingering yarn or something you call it. It's 400 yards and it's 100% superwash merino. And I got this because I have a wool yarn from Hobby Lobby a while back and it's gray. So I'm going to um, put the two strands together whenever I use this because I usually don't work with yarn that's little. So I just got one of those. And then I got this one. Really cute. And also 374. And this is the same fingering yarn. And I will also be using another yarn to go with this. I actually got, let me see here. There we go. I actually got this yarn. This is a three weight. And this is part wool. So I will be using it to go with one of these. This is 227. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then I also got a gold and these are 174 must be merino this is the gold and this one is silver gray so that's what i got there and then for cotton which is what i really went to look for i got this one which is the sugar wheel cotton solid pink canyon a dollar 49 335 yards it is a three weight and that's how that looks like i got two of those and then I also got this one, the beautiful purple, same information, and I got two of those. The color is lovely lilac. And then I got this one, which is called mustard seed. That's how that looks like. Really, really cute. Got two of those. And then this yarn I got the most of. I got five of these. It's a sparkle black yarn. I mean, you can never go wrong with sparkle black yarn. You always can use it for many different things. It's soft and sleek, low pale fiber, 186 yards, and it's called Black Sparkle. It is considered a full four weight yarn, so really like that. Um, no pale. That's five of those, and they were 99 cents each. Um, same brand for this one. It's the low pale again, 186 yards. It's called Black Gray. I can probably mix it up with that other one, 186 yards again, and four weight. And I only got two of these. And then this particular one, which is a dollar twenty-four. I love this yarn. And this is called Stone Throw. And it's 252 yards. And it was a dollar twenty-four each. Really pretty colors. Got that one. And then I got this monster, which is the Crafter Secret. It was the only one that was marked down in my store. My store is very, very slow in their markdowns. Like, they'll do one section, it'll be an entire week, and then they'll do, like, another little section. So, yeah. Um, it was two forty nine, and it is 810 yards, four weights. So, I figure that will be nice to have. And then I also got some items, because you guys know I do make menstrual pads. Um, so I saw some flannel is usually what I use for the top of my pads. So I just got this little fabric. This one, if this is just a quarter of a yard, because I didn't want a whole bunch of it, because it was regular. No, it was 40% off, but still it was like $6.99. So I just got a piece of it. This will probably make, you know, maybe about six pads, maybe. I don't know. I'll see what happens. And I thought it was really, really cute. I think it came up to just like a dollar six for this quarter of a yard. And then I got this one, which was on clearance. It was $3 a yard and really really cute also flannel and so I just I, I was just going to get a yard but when she unrolled it it was like a yard and a half so I was like yeah I'll take it so I will be making quite a bit of pads and maybe some other things out of that so what I've been working on a friend of mine had a um, daughter had a baby and I had no idea so um, she just had the baby and I asked her you know what was the baby room decorated in any specific colors and she told me monsters ink so I've had this in my stash, which is the blue and the green will be the colors I will be using because that's what I have. And then I saw some other YouTube videos on how to, um, I'm going to do some solid green ones and then do um, like the, the, the monster to kind of, you know, make it unique. So that's what I am working on with that. Um, the colors that I'm using for the blue, it is, what is this? This is Walmart's brand. 
and I don't know if it have any colors on here or not. You know, sometimes Walmart just it's probably just blue. So that will be what I'm using. And this was 395 yards or 397 yards four weight acrylic. And I think I paid like a two dollars and something cents for this. I know it wasn't more than three dollars. And then for the green, it is I love this yarn, which is limelight, and it's 355 yards. So that's what I'm working on. So hopefully I get that done within a few um, weeks or hopefully honestly it'll probably be a couple of days and then I have another friend who is she loved dolls um, she showed me some dolls that her mother and made her when she was a little girl and I believe she's probably in her 50s or 60s now and she treasures it and I was like oh my god I, I have a doll I'm you know, gonna give you a doll so this will be the doll I'm sending her if you can see it it's a beautiful doll and it has the little beads. It kind of looks like me when I was little with the outfit and everything. So I'm going to get that sent off to her. She is super excited. So um, that's what I'll be doing probably tomorrow. Get it all lint, rubbed down, and um, get it mailed to her. So she's going to be super excited about that because she really treasures handmade. And I just love that when people really treasure handmade. And to see the doll, because her mom used to crochet, and, to, and so... So to see the condition of the doll that her mom made her, you know, what, 40, maybe even 50 years ago, and is in such great condition, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm more than happy to um, get that doll sent to her because I know she's going to take great care of it. But anyway, guys, everyone have a beautiful day. I will talk to you guys later. And once I get this blanket all done and complete and figure it out, I will post it. Have a great day.